Uh, Andrew McClary uh, talking after a win over the, in the 100 hurdles. Uh, let's talk about like the the year that you've had in this event. It's just so uh, such improved from uh, last year, even previous years, I guess. Tell me what's wh 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 how'd you get to this point? Um, well, it started at the beginning of the year. I took weightlifting this year, so it's made me a lot stronger. And at the beginning of the track season, Victor made us focus a lot on speed to the first hurdle because you can if you beat him to the first hurdle, then it's harder for them to catch up. So I just focus on getting to the first hurdle and letting everything else come after that. Uh, what would you say, how you feel about your t time today? 15-9-2, or, uh, how, how does that uh, compare to what you've done this year? I'm pretty good. It's my second fastest time, so it's pretty good. I'm trying to get it down more. School record's 15-6-3, so that's what I'm going for. Uh, speaking of records, break the uh, corner conference uh, record today, the shuttle hurdle relay team, I guess. Uh, talk about that feeling in that shuttle hurdle team. Um, that's good. We have, a, we have a heck of a shuttle hurdle team. We have freshman Claire Schaff and then Kinsey Victor, sophomore, who haven't done it before, and they stepped up, and they do an amazing job. What are, you, what are your goals uh, in terms of both of those events? Um, to go to state and to place at state, not just get there, but when we get there, compete. Andrew, great job. Thank you. All right, Kelsey Hurley, four golds, 15 golds for your career, Kelsey. I mean, uh, you know, 15 out of 16, one uh, bronze as a freshman. What can you say about all that? Um, it feels pretty good. I don't know. What, what's, uh, what do you, I mean, did you ever imagine when you started this thing that something like that could happen? Um, no. Just come out here and run and... Jump yeah, jump. High jump today, 5-5. Five, five. Tell me about that. Uh, it's a new corner conference meet record, and uh, that's what, it's the best in 1A, I think. Uh, yeah, I've been working on it more this year, and I'm a little bit more powerful. So. I know you've been to state in the high jump. Will this be, I mean, you're trying to go for a fourth time or third time? Fourth. Okay, so trying to go for a fourth time, and each year you're just kind of getting higher and higher up there. I guess what will it take for you to get that you know, ultimate goal, and what is that ultimate goal? Uh, my goal is to jump 5-6 and win the state. Kelsey, congrats. 15 golds and four today. Uh, great, great career in the corner conference. Not done yet, but thanks a lot. Thank you. Chad Blank, winner of three golds here already today, an individual, I guess. Uh, tell, me, uh, tell me, first of all, about your long jump, because that's kind of how you started the day. How would you feel? Uh, I can jump a little bit farther, but I'm just glad I got the win, getting points for my team. 100 and 200, uh, really a strong, strong 200 there. Didn't see your 100, but tell me about those two races. Uh, the one didn't feel too good, so I'm glad I came out and put a good time up in the 200. Uh, three golds here. Uh, obviously, I know you're hoping for four, but I guess tell me how you're feeling about the three. Feeling pretty good. Just trying to get points for my team any way I can. Tell me about uh, goals for you uh, as we move right down the stretch here towards the end of the season. Uh, I definitely want state in those three events. Looking pretty good. I don't know what relay I'm going to be in at districts yet. But. Chad, uh, congrats. Mackenzie Daffer, winner today in uh, both the 800 and the 400 hurdles, the second in the 400. Uh, Mackenzie, tell me about, uh, first of all, that 800, 400 hurdles is a really short wait time, and I know it kind of affected you a little. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, really, my goal for the 800 was just to go out and try my best and win it and try to, we're trying to experimenting, kind of experimenting with the 800 and the 400 hurdles and how fast I can recover just in case I run it in districts. So today was our tester because I won't be at the, the meet in Mountain Air Thursday. So I guess today was just to work hard and see how well I can recover. You've had uh, some uh, nagging injuries, I guess, and kept you out of the 400 hurdles. You ran it uh, last week and you had the second fastest time in, in 1A. So I mean, uh, what can you, how are you feeling health wise? Um, I am hurting a little bit on my left knee. It's actually out of alignment, my kneecap is. So I wear a brace before and after my races, and my right leg's starting to overcompensate for me kind of not running so much on my left knee. So I guess it's just kind of overcoming being injured like I was my freshman year and my sophomore year. What's, uh, what are you looking at in terms of uh, are you happy with today, and what, what, what kind of goals do you have? coming for, moving forward. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with today. I, I kind of shocked myself running the 222 and the 800. That's a new PR for me, but yeah, I'm actually really shocked how I performed today. Kenzie, uh, congrats, and uh, we'll be seeing you. Thank you. Alex Bechtold has been killing it here of late, and today broke the corner conference record. I guess uh, Alex, I don't know, it was about a week or so ago, that two weeks ago that something changed and you started firing about 158, 168 even, I guess. Tell me what's, what's, uh, what happened. 
Well, at Griswold, I guess it was a really nice day out. And actually, what happened is I forgot my throwing shoes that I usually wear. So I just had to throw my regular street shoes. And I put about 20 extra feet on my uh, on my pre-R. So since then, I've just been sticking with them. Yeah, so you haven't even... You, you, what do you do with those other shoes that you had before? Well, I still have them, I guess. I don't know. I bring them, but I never use them. Uh, tell me about it. I mean, was this something you felt like you could do? I mean, get get up to the levels that you've got to? I mean, it was eventually my goal. I didn't think this year. I think my goal was to be in 150s, around 155. But I was hoping next year that I'd break the record, uh, the school record. But yeah, yeah. 168 it obviously did that. And then you break the corner conference meet record today. A guy named AJ Scarborough held that before. Who was uh, just a tremendous discus thrower. Uh, what's it mean to you to break the record today? I mean, it mean it means a lot to me because I remember uh, when I was just starting out, I'd go down to the, or I'd be helping at the high school track meet, and um, I'd be watching him throw, and I'd just think like, wow, you know, that is so far. I'm never going to be able to do that. And then just to see myself that I can do it today is it means a lot. Awesome. Congrats, Alex. All right, thank you very much.